Frequently confused with pit bulls is the American bully breed. Despite having features or construction that may seem to be similar, they are actually very different from one another. American bully is a relatively new breed compared to pit bull, which has been around since the 1800s. It is a hybrid breed made up of the American pit bull terrier, bulldog, and Staffordshire terrier. Its own history, not how it differs from pit bulls, is what makes American bully interesting. In actuality, you can trace it back to the earliest molosser dogs. This is why, and it makes sense, the bullies come in a variety of sizes. Standard, Classic, XL, Pocket, and the newest type, Extreme, are the five different types of American bully that exist today, as opposed to the previous four types. In this article, we'll examine specifically how American bully and pocket bully differ from one another. In addition, we'll offer advice on how to take care of these adorable canine companions. Find out now. The differences between American and pocket bullies. Differences in history. As was previously mentioned, the American bully is a breed that is the offspring of crosses between Bulldogs, Staffordshire Terriers, and American Pit Bull Terriers. It was created in the United States between 1980 and 1990, making it a relatively new breed. Additionally, the American Bully Kennel Club, the breed's breed club, only officially recognized the American Bully as a breed in 2004. ABKC While the Pocket Bully is a cross between the Paddedale Terrier and the American Bully. However, most of Pocket Bully's characteristics are derived from American Bully. They are also referred to as the mini version of American Bully as a result of their striking similarities. The popularity of Pocket Bully has continuously increased in the nearly 20 years since their debut. Its adorable mini stature and family-friendly characteristics have helped this designer dog rise to the top of the companion dog rankings. Appearance Physically, the Pocket Bully and the American Bully are very similar. The head of the Pocket Bully is a little bit wider than the American Bully's, which is the only distinguishing feature. In addition, both are bulky, muscular, funny-looking, and very likable. In other words, they don't really differ from one another. Although size pocket bully shares many characteristics with the American bully, such as being extremely muscular and having a rigid body, they are not exactly the same. The size and stature are the most obvious characteristics that set these two breeds apart. In actuality, a bully's size determines what type of bully they are. Comparing American and Pocket Bullies Depending on the gender, a Pocket Bully typically weighs between 10 and 22 pounds and stands between 13 and 17 inches tall. A Standard Bully and a Classic Bully in American Bully are the same height. Their heights range from 16 to 19 inches for women and 17 to 20 inches for men, female. Despite being the same height, the latter are built with more defined jaws and appear thinner and less bulky. The largest type of bully is called an XL. An adult male XL bully is 20 to 23 inches long, while the female is 19 to 22 inches. The XL bully has a similar muscular build to the standard bully, but is taller and has more body mass. Overall, if you place a pocket bully next to an American bully, the latter will appear to be a tiny version of the former. Temperament The fierce loyalty that American bullies have for their owners is one of the main factors contributing to their popularity. Additionally, they make wonderful companion animals and are adorable around people, families with young children, and other dogs. American bullies are also capable of being silly. Given the silly and silly nature of both breeds, it is very likely that this trait originated in English and American Bulldogs. Therefore, there aren't many differences between the temperaments of American Bully and Pocket Bully. They actually descend from the same family tree, so they will have many genetic traits in common. The Pocket Bully, on the other hand, will also acquire some characteristics from the Paddedale Terrier. You'll see that they have endless energy levels as a result. In general, they are more animated than the American Bully. 
Therefore, it's imperative to use more restraint when interacting with a pocket bully. Having said that, we do think that with the right experiences and training, you can shape a dog's behavior. As a result, it's never acceptable to base judgment solely on traits. In other words, if you take good care of your pocket bully, chances are good that she won't exhibit any of the negative traits that people typically associate them with. Training The training techniques for American bullies and pocket bullies are quite similar. The training should begin early, just like with any dog breed. Their initial command training can be broken down into sessions of 5 to 10 minutes each. Additionally, bullies adore commands with rewards. Don't forget to reward them whenever they obey the command, then. If you have a pocket bully, all you need to do is add a twist to boost engagement. As opposed to the former, pocket bullies typically have higher levels of energy, so you'll need to engage in more activities to help them release it. Both dog breeds are just as intelligent as each other. You must therefore train them with concentration, composure, and strictness. However, we recommend that you continue to energize your pocket bully. They tend to grow both physically and mentally, unlike the American bully, which is why. Exercises American bullies are muscularly built and energetic, despite their lack of aggression. You must therefore allow them to exercise for at least an hour so that they can release their energy. Exercises like daily walks in the park or even jogging around the yard are beneficial for depleting their energy. Toys are also helpful for keeping them occupied, particularly if you have limited space or are busy. For Pocket Bully, the same tenet holds true. The only catch is that you probably need more than an hour each day to completely exhaust the Pocket Bully's high octane level. Get your Pocket Bully some cerebral dog toys to play with if you find yourself short on time. The dog will have to work harder to obtain the treats if you decide to invest in treat dispensers. Health and Lifespan Despite being a designer breed, the American Bully generally has a good overall health. While the life expectancy of a healthy American Bully is 8 to 13 years, that of a healthy Pocket Bully is 10 to 14 years. But because of their size or for genetic reasons, all dog breeds are predisposed to certain illnesses. Consequently, it's imperative to bring your bullies in for regular checkups. Bullies are also brachycephalic, so they should never overdo their exercise routine, especially in the summer. American bullies have muzzles that are relatively short, which prevents the hot air they breathe from properly cooling before entering their lungs. They run the risk of suffering from heat stroke as a result. Several prevalent medical conditions bullies comprise. Hole dysplasia. Hypothyroidism. Lipofuscinosis of the neurons. Elbow dystrophy. Cardiac disease. Cataracts. Dermatitis cleft lip or palate. Abiotrophy of the cerebellum. Ischemia patellar luxation. American bully versus pocket bully cost comparison. Because it is so uncommon, pocket bully costs more than American bully. Puppies of pocket bullies can range in price from $1,500 to $10,000, and an adult pocket bully can sell for up to $10,000. Puppies for American bullies can be purchased starting at $1,000, while adults can sell for upwards of $4,000. Of course, the exact cost of each dog varies greatly depending on its condition, any existing medical issues, the color of its coat, and its age. Nutritional Needs a dog's diet typically depends on its size. As a result, the pocket bully requires less food than the American bully because it is smaller. A pocket bully, for instance, only requires two cups of premium dog food each day. The latter, however, needs about 2 to 2.5 cups of dog food daily. The pocket bully doesn't appear to require as much food as the American bully due to their different sizes. Of course, the activities your dog engages in affect their food intake in the long run. In order to help them gain the necessary muscle mass, they will eat more if they engage in intense training or exercises.